He uses words to make art. That's right. In one of his pieces, a progressive field, got a lot of attention this year using names of every Cleveland Indian to wear the uniform. So Jasmine Monroe joins us right now with Dan Duffy. And so Jasmine, he literally has work that you can see inside Play Ballpark. Yes, and that's where we are right now. Dan Duffy joining us here this morning. We've been checking out all of the names, and one of the names that we found, we got a chance. To, well, he knows where they are, but Frankie Lindor, I think it was, you said it was right, right here. Right here. First initial F Lindor. Perfect. Right wow. There. Well, tell me how long and how you got into this. This is pretty incredible. This is how many names you said? There's 1,875 Indians to create Jacob's Field. Wow, that's incredible. So Thank you. you told me you, you started this with one picture. This was that's all right. about your girlfriend at the time. Yes. Who's now your wife. That's right. And now, you know, this is this idea is in many homes now. Incredible, right? And uh, it's a dream come true. I did this to impress a girl, and we were big Phillies fans in Philadelphia, and this is my first All-Star game, and it's been 10 years of doing word art, and here we are at the All-Star game. Unbelievable. And you're still working on another piece, too, sure. as well. What's this piece? Well, when in Ohio, right, <laughs> and you've already written out every Indian ever, it's a good thing to start writing the 150th anniversary wow. of the Cincinnati Reds. So the oldest ballpark in Major League, or the oldest team in Major League Baseball history, these guys go back to 1869, wow. right? So you probably have some Civil War veterans up here all the way down to their newest acquisitions, which would be the last line. And you can see that this piece is a little incomplete right, right now, so I've wrote all the names, and now I am just coloring everybody in, and hopefully it ends up as good <laughs> as the Cleveland piece. Now, how do you know where to put names and how big to go and how small to write? Yeah, it's just math, and even though you go to art school, you still need to know some math, kids. So I just measure myself as far as how long I've uh, completed the piece to how many names I have written. Right. And if, I, if I'm too uh, not on point, I have to write a little bit smaller and catch up. Have you ever had to just start all over again and just um, stop? No, no, no. I would Photoshop any mistakes out, <laughs> okay? But uh, absolutely, I did it on the Yankees piece, and I was proud of it. <laughs> Good job. All right. All right. Now, if anyone's interested, so many other pieces here. How sure. can they, you know, find you? What time will you be here? Well, actually, we're going to be here every day um, till Tuesday through Tuesday tomorrow. And uh, I want to give this piece of art away to the biggest hardcore Indians fan I can. And you can go to artawords.com. Tell me who's the biggest Indians fan and why. Wow. And I'm going to pick a winner, and we're going to give this original art away. On Tuesday morning, we're going to draw a name. Wow. Where do they need to go again one more time? Artofwords.com, the homepage. And you can just tell me who's the biggest uh, Indians fan that you know. You can nominate yourself or anybody you know and love. And uh, I got a nomination. Dave, our, our anchor, our morning anchor. He's he's awesome. He's oh. super Dave. I think it should just go right to him. I don't know if media is eligible. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dave. He said you're Dave. not eligible. I, it. I think it's well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jasmine, thank you. Best of luck, Dave. Well, yes. I love no, the passion there, bottom line.